The first race enters the stretch, the first Gold Series elimination. Three-year-old trotting Colts and Geldings, and they're off for the 30th anniversary season of the Ontario Sire Stakes. That's Meadowview Sunny and Doug Brown powering up in the center of the track. Mr. Garjangles leaving very hard on the outside, maybe trying to clear over into the first turn. Jerry Levac led away at the inside from third. Taking position forward to the first turn is called to order. An achieved victory is left in fifth, and J.M. Van Gogh in semi-spot. After the first turn break, Northern Legend is the gapped out trailer. Mr. Garjangles directly to the top. A deceptive fast 27 and 4 Steve Condren directly to the lead and they're into the east wind along the back stretch now it'll be a tailwind when they come back into the stretch Mr. Garjangles up front by two uh, in the 3 8 completion right there Meadowview Sunny trots along in second Jerry Levesque racing it off from third and called to order has studied those from fourth to achieve victory by two more lengths from fifth and J.M. Van Gogh not content with the tempo is brought to the outside Meadowview Sunny has pulled the pocket already semi spot is on the outside from seventh the gapping trailer was northern legend 59 seconds the half 31 and one second quarter meadowview sunny makes the move to the lead well before the final turn mr garjangles surrendered the front sits back in second jerry levac rolling up on the outside is on the attack now jm van Gogh is fourth on the outside and coming on to join the leaders over to the top of the stretch called to order is on the inside from fifth semi spot sixth outside then it's chief victory and three more lengths to northern legend Meadowview, Sonny, Jerry Levesque, J.M. Van Gogh on the outside third. Mr. Guard Jangles along the inside in the top four. Top of the stretch with nothing settled. Jerry Levesque, Meadowview, Sonny, match strides. 128 and three. Final eighth of the mile in the first. Gold Series elimination. Meadowview, Sonny, J.M. Van Gogh. Ron Waples has this one flying up on the outside. J.M. Van Gogh is forging past. J.M. Van Gogh wins the first gold elimination. Just forging past Jerry Levesque. Meadowview Sunny and call to order semi spot fifth JM Van Gogh 157 and 3. That's six JM Van Gogh. Three year old Bay Colt by Earl from Queen Tut. Owned by Paul Chambers of Harrington, Delaware. John Mello of Georgetown, Maine. Trained and driven to victory in Ontario. And in the Ontario Sire Stakes, first gold elimination by Ron Waples. The second win in three starts this year. That's a lifetime speed mark. J.M. Van Gogh in the first. Stand by, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be going live into the Mohawk Winner's Circle in just moments for the post-race interview. Our Greg Blanchard is standing by with winning trainer driver Ron Waples in just a few moments. Yeah, if this is any indication what's ahead, I can hardly wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Just talk about how the trip uh, unfolded tonight, uh, again trying it from off the pace. You kind of gapped on the last turn. Uh, how did it work out for you? Well, it worked out real well. I, I didn't let him leave out of there. Uh, he has a tendency to be a little bit warm leaving the gate. Not bad, but a little bit. Uh, but the second quarter, nice and slow, that helped me a lot because I got up into position a little better. And, and uh, after that, I just kind of let him do what he wanted, and I got a good trip, followed Jerry Levesque the whole way, and the rest was history. Let's just backpedal to, to last season, and uh, again, it didn't end off the way anybody would want to see it. Uh, he fell in his last start. What happened there, and how did he come back from that? Well, this horse, when he fell, and I have no idea to this day why he fell, but after he fell and, and, and the mess, his knee and his ankle, especially his ankle the next day was in, he was about that far from being history, you know, uh, that close to the joint capsule. If that would have started leaking fluid, he would have to be put down. So I, I really didn't think the horse would come back very good or maybe not come back at all. But he, when I, he came up two weeks ago and, uh, you know, I trained him twice and boys, he was right on the iron and felt good and, and he trained back good, Paul said. He's still lightly raced. Is there a lot still ahead for the Colt? Yeah, he's got uh, all kinds. If he's good enough, there's all kinds of money out there. And he keeps himself good. He's uh, kind of a firecracker around the barn and going out to the track and stuff. But uh, he uh, keeps himself good. He eats good and stays in good shape. All right. Congratulations here. Good luck with him next week. Thank you. It's two kinds of luck, you know. <laughs> all right. 30th season of the OSS now underway. Appropriate that Hall of Famer Ron Wables would kick it off. J.M. Van Gogh winning tonight in 157 and 